the ocean connects Hidaro with foreign countries, something that has never changed. In 1550, a Portuguese ship with shining white sails arrived at the Hirado Quay, signifying the beginning of the age of exploration. Portugal entered negotiations with Japan with the aim of carrying out trade and promulgating Christianity. Takanobu Matsura, the 25th feudal lord of the Hirado clan at that time, dauntlessly accepted those offers. He requested the help of Wang Zi, a merchant of Ming China, which was very influential in the East China Sea area at the time, thus gaining an advantage over the other clans in the surrounding coastal areas. The Hirado clan, although small, made huge profits because of this amazing boldness. The Matsuda family, the feudal lord of Hirado, was the master of the time. This then became the driving force in the subsequent major changes that took place in Japanese history. When I was there, there was a gorgeous stone building called the Dutch Trading Post. The quay with the fluttering flags of the Netherlands. Can you imagine it? We can still find remnants of that age throughout Hirado. The Dutch well provided precious drinking water for ships setting out on their long voyages. The foreign settlement was surrounded by walls, but everyone was still free to come and go. An arched bridge named Saiwai Bashi was constructed using Dutch masonry techniques. The bridge is located at the entrance of Hirado Castle, an imposing Japanese-style castle. The England trading post was around here. A hexagonal water well still exists in the Chinese-style residence. The fun of traveling around Hirado is that you can still see these historical sites. Hirado Castle. In the old days, only the feudal lord got to enjoy the view from the main castle tower. The castle town of Hirado was rather crowded with its 2,000 foreigners. The Lord may have been able to watch the foreign ships in full sail entering and leaving the port of Hirado with a telescope he got from a merchant. An Asian hero was also born in Hirado. His name was Zheng Cheng Gong. He later liberated Taiwan, thus laying the foundation for that country. An invaluable historical bond was born. Both Japanese and Chinese hold a festival to celebrate the birth of Zheng Cheng Gong and still nurture the invaluable bond he was part of. The Shimabara Rebellion, led by poverty-stricken Christians, put a sudden end to the age. When the Tokugawa government changed its policy and closed the country to foreign commerce, it gained advantage of the overseas trade. Moreover, the government issued an order outlawing Christianity, which it then thoroughly enforced. In that turbulent time, an Englishman named William Adams was serving as the foreign affairs advisor to Ieyasu Tokugawa, the ruler of the country at that time. Mr. Adams later died in Hirado. Any woman that had married a foreign merchant and had had half-caste children was deported. I miss Japan and want to return to my hometown. This letter reveals the nostalgia of such a woman. There is a mix of both light and shadow in the history of Hirado that cannot be described. What exactly did Tadataka Ino, who surveyed Japan around 200 years ago, exactly see in Hirado. A precious Edo-era townscape can still be found on Azuchi-Oshima Island, which is located off the coast of Hirado. It may be rather interesting to view the city through a telescope, but you still might want to actually walk around the city. It has a distinctive atmosphere created by the people living there and their history. You can actually sense the historic atmosphere 
which is the very charm of traveling around Hidalgo.